Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a Game of Thrones, and I just want to start off by thanking you guys for smashing the support on the first episode. It was truly remarkable uh, just watching the video and you guys reacting to that one. Uh, truly great. Now, into today's episode... As you can see, I have actually decided to go ahead and equip myself with a crown. <laughs> uh, I did say at some point uh, in the last episode I would equip a crown and then I never got round to it. We do have quite the selection here and I decided I was thinking of going for this one here uh, for the extra learning. However, uh, visually, I think a crown of egg on the fourth is just the, the better looking one. As we go ahead and go through these here, you can see down here as we equip the crown. I think the last one... Uh, Oh, we can't equip this one. That's fine. Uh, I think this one says Targaryen King like no other. So let's go ahead and use this one. Now, something else I also want to achieve is to sort out my King's Guard. Now, as one of you pointed out, we should probably recruit some of the characters that make sense, such as uh, Jamie Lannister. Of course, he did serve my father, and at least in our timeline, he never betrayed my father. So his loyalty is still very much intact. Now... Son of Lord Paramount Tywin. If we go ahead and click on Sir Jamie here, can we make him... We can offer him Knight Tutelage. I don't think that's it. Can we go ahead and make him our Kingsguard? Oh, we can't invite him to court because he is already currently a Kingsguard. I think Tywin has a... Yeah, I think Tywin has made him a Kingsguard? Has he? Uh, I'm very confused. Okay, it looks like Jamie is off the books. Let's go ahead and see if there's anyone else we can recruit. Okay, so I just spent about five, ten minutes there uh, browsing through the character finder. And it looks like all of the old Kingsguard have now been taken up or I'm not able to recruit them. I'm not so sure. Uh, it is an early version of the mod, so maybe there's also some issues. But it looks like we're going to have to find a brand new Kingsguard, one of our own. So if I go to my my courtiers here i can filter by the knight trait uh, if i wanted to now can only a knight be a king's guard let's go ahead and test that uh, i think that would make sense wouldn't it so uh, you're the hand of the king you're my courtier uh, i need someone who's male there we go you're my courtier are you able to become a king's guard Ah, uh, no, because you're a septant. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, you're my high septant. Do I not just have anyone? My courtier and friend. There we go. Richard Lonemouth. I don't think I can invite... Oh, I can invite him to be in my King's Guard as well. Okay. So, in that case, I need to find someone. Ideally, just with high prowess, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, sort by adult... Oh, <laughs> this is this has come up now. Uh, if we go by adult, I think we're by gender. We could also go to male as well. And then maybe uh, we can find some king's guard within here. Ideally, not anyone we would want to recruit. I could make my father on the king's guard. That wouldn't be very good. My maester wouldn't be a very good king's guard. Right. What about Richard Lonmouth? He's only got 11 prowess, though. And he's a drunk, so I don't think he's going to do very well. What about you? You only have three prowess. We're, we're in desperate need of some Kingsguard. I might actually have to recruit some of my guests here. An experienced fighter, 19 prowess. Is there anyone else with higher prowess? 19, 23. Uh, Baron there uh, would be a very go a good Kingsguard, wouldn't he? How much would you want to be recruited? 35 gold. I can afford that. That's not too much at all. Uh, your skilled fighter... A flexible leader, legendary blade master, gallant, and a dutiful captain. Uh, what would you say, Baron? Would you like to become a sir? Uh, oh, I need to recruit you to uh, recruit you to court first, of course. We do gain a little bit of stress because we're solitary, but we do need some protection. So let's go ahead and invite you to the king's guard. He will accept that. Uh, so there we go. Let's go ahead and just unpause for a, for a tiny bit of time. Oh, he doesn't get the cool white armor uh, like our other king's guard, it seems. Or do I have to assign him here first? Uh, maybe we just need to wait a little bit. I think he's um, accepted the court position. And then we just have to wait for him to accept the application to become my king's guard as well. Don't forget, we're also doing some sieging down here. Uh, we are fighting Robert and his rebellion. So let's go ahead and get some more battles underway. In fact, is there anything... I think King's Landing is relatively safe right now. What if we go down here? 
to Storm's End. Do you think we could make the march to Storm's End? I'm not quite sure where Robert and his men are. Uh, you have to forgive the, the slight jittiness here. Oh, they're all the way up here. Okay, whilst they're up here then besieging all this. Actually, is that Robert's men? No, that's Ed's. Uh, that's Ed's and John's men up there. So what if we go to Storm's End? We go for the for the counter play. All right, let's try ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to tell these guys to march down here. We're actually going to take a tiny bit of attrition, but that should be okay. Let's keep the game at uh, speed free for now. Siege of Etabil has been lost, but we're still winning the war. Do I have a, a second Kingsguard yet? Did I did I ever invite him? Maybe I didn't invite him uh, to join my my Kingsguard here. Baron is my knight. Okay. He's already considering a proposal for me. Okay, it just seems to take a little bit of time. Maybe I'm being a little bit impatient there. Uh, a lot of places have come under siege. To the implacable Rhaegar, I would be honoured to serve within your king's guard. You shall come to the capital to take your vows. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And there's the armour we were looking for. My king's guard, Baron, kneels before me, swearing to exchange his life for mine, to obey your word and keep your confident. To speak their mind or hold their tongue at your back. And to defend the honour of your name, your dynasty and your throne. He rises now pledged towards you with all his strength and to give his blood for yours. Rise, Sir Baron. There we go, a second Knight of the King's Guard has been found. Right. Do we do we pay these guys? I'm not quite sure. Look at that though, 27 prowess now. He gets plus four just from being in my King's Guard. We should probably... Uh, we should probably flesh this out. Appoint as Lord Commander. Choose Baron as the man to lead your personal bodyguard. Is this... Ah, Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Okay. You're my friend. I think Miles Mutant, even though he has less prowess, because he's my friend, maybe I make him the King's Guard. Although I also want a man who, who, who is very strong as well. Not only strong, probably tactically smart. Let's go ahead and find another man for the King's Guard. Can we go in here? I think we had a few guys with 19 prowess somewhere, didn't we? Oh, you're robust as well. What's your prowess looking like? 19? You're a dutiful captain, an unyielding defender, robust. You are scarred, but that doesn't hurt your prowess. You're also a trained fighter. Uh, I tell you what, Reese, uh, I'm going to invite you to the King's Guard as well. Let's go ahead and recruit him to the court here. It's going to cost us another 31 gold and a little bit of stress, but that's fine. We're, we're fighting rebellion, so what's a little bit more stress? There we go. And I will go ahead and invite him to the to the King's Guard as well. Uh, serve in my King's Guard, and I promise... Once the realm belongs to us, you will be rewarded. Uh, to be honest, just serving on my king's guard should be enough. Oh, that's a name. <laughs> Orton Grin has come to me, uh, has come to my keep seeking a place to stay for a short while. Before resuming his journey to the court of the lord, he will be serving. Ah, so you are maester. Any maester of the citadel is welcome in my halls. Yeah, I would like to be on good terms with the maester. We're not like my father, of course. We're we're not the mad king. I want to be seen as the, the just king. The, the true king of the seven kingdoms. That would be ideal, of course. Whilst walking the corridors of my keep today, I ran into my guest, Autumngrin, and began speaking with him. During our conversation, I noticed that he had a link of lead on his chain. I brought this up to him and we began talking at length about poisons and antidotes. A truly illuminating conversation. Oh, that might be. That might come in handy if we can't win on the on the battlefield with the sword. Maybe we can win with a little potion. To the implacable Rhaegar, I would be honoured to serve within your king's guard. You should come to the capital to take your vows. Uh, I'll save you the time uh, of not reading this again. Rise, Sir Reese. Welcome to the king's guard. Look at that. We're we're beginning to flesh things out now. He's not the the best. Man for prowess, but he does have 23. That's still excellent, of course. Uh, I think that's more for me. How much prowess do I have? I have 25 prowess. I should serve on the King's Guard. Of course, that wouldn't make much sense, though. Let's go ahead and find someone else. You have 17. I think I had someone else with 19 prowess, though. Yeah, look at this. Thurston here. Look at that. 19 prowess. He's a craven, though. Do I want a, cra a craven on my King's Guard? Uh, I don't think... So that's not going to be very beneficial, is it? Uh, what about you, Tristopher? 
Look at that. You're diligent, impatient, and honourable. Ah, honourable would be good. So you got a skilled tactician, aspiring blade master. You're athletic and a skilled fighter. Uh, what say you? Would you like to become a member of the King's Guard? There we go. So they actually instantly accept, which is nice. Let's go ahead and send out the invitation. It would have been nice to have people like Sir Barristan and Sir Jamie on the King's Guard. Uh, we'll have to keep that in mind for our next playthrough. I am a human being, and sometimes a human being just wants to eat some hot bread. Thankfully, Il Alley, which is known for its inns and taverns, leaves no one wanting for fresh warm bread. I saunter up to a cart being manned by Baker and his apprentice, and purchase some bread so fresh that it's steaming. When I take a mouth-watering bite, I feel something most undelicious, a wood splinter. Did they try to, to, to choke me with wood? I pull, the, uh, I pull the break apart and find even more. This bread has been made using flour filled with sawdust. Guards! <laughs> I think they just tried to, to kill me here. Lord Monford has become my master of laws and cannot be fired for 25 years. Okay. Master of laws is diplomacy. You have 13 diplomacy. Not the best. Ah, uh, it's fine though. Can we not make uh, put Varys on the council, I wonder? Is Varys still even in my court? I don't think he is, is he? No, Varys disappeared as well, so uh, I don't actually know where he's gone off to either. Oh dear, uh, that's a little bit worrying. That's fine. Autumn Grin has come before me and somewhat perfunctorily thanked me for my hospitality. He complimented me on my insights into squallery matters Though his tone would suggest he fought little of my intellect. <laughs> I mean, he is a maester. What can we expect? It seems he thinks me a fool. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a, a personal grudge we might have to deal with in the future. Although we need to prioritize. I think the Seven Kingdoms comes first. To the implacable Rhaegar, I would be honored to serve within your King's Guard. You should come to the capital to take your vows. And there we go. Rise, Sir Christopher. Oh, doesn't this feel good to slowly... Fill this out. There we go. 21 prowess. Uh, I feel like we're losing. Is there a decision to invite strong knights, I wonder? There we go. We can invite knights to the realm. I think my last two knights, I really want to find someone great. What's uh, disallow petitioners? Oh, okay. Um, and this. Oh, that's all very cool stuff here, actually. Let's go ahead and invite some knights to the realm. It's going to cost 150 prestige. We can afford that. As the king of the Iron Throne, I need brave knights to defend the realm and conquer new lands. I will send out a herald to let my subjects know I am in search of skilled warriors. So at least three able-bodied men with 12 or more prowess will arrive. Hopefully a lot more than 12 prowess. Because uh, I don't want them to just be knights, of course. We could hold court. Let's hold off on that. I want to uh, do this siege. 14 months. It's fine. We're, we're, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, we can lawfully imprison Lady Alira. She's a fornicator. Oh dear. Already the Crusader King's free stuff is starting. <laughs> uh, Pembroke is under siege. That's probably not good. As long as King's Landing or Dragonstone doesn't become besieged. Those are the two important ones. Theo heeded my summons and has arrived at court as my guest. 17 prowess. Skilled fighter. Legendary blade master. What is there not to like about you? You're honest, impatient and greedy. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you know what? I will recruit, recruit you to the court there. That's another 30 gold gone, but that's fine. Uh, how about uh, a place on my king's guard as well? Theo, what say you? Greetings, my thoughtful liege. I have arrived in Dragonstone to pay homage to you, glorious king, as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honour. Uh, let's go ahead and show in Lord Baelor at once. And I won't bore you guys with reading this again. <laughs> we had it quite a lot in the last one. Serve me well, Lord Baelor. So no gold, but we do get some prestige and renown, uh, which is always very welcome, of course. So how long is this siege going to take? Another 12 months yet. That's fine. We could use some allies, couldn't we? Unfortunately, we don't have any allies right now. To the implacable Rhaegar, I would be honoured to serve within your king's guard. Come to the capital and take your vow uh, vows. Rise, Sir Theo. What's he looking like? 21 prowess. Not too shabby. Um, I think out of these, Baron, Sir Baron here, is definitely... 
looking the most promising, isn't he? Does he have the knight trait now? He does. That's nice to see. I think Sir Beron is probably going to be the, the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. We'll see who the last candidate is, though, before we go ahead and decide that. Uh, and there we go. Uh, Lord Lewis ha has also arrived to pay respects to me as well. Uh, also not bearing gifts of gold. But uh, I'd still appreciate their loyalty. Do we have any problem? We don't even have any factions right now. Uh, so, in, in real... Uh, the, well, uh, this is the only real threat. Word from the Tower of Joy. Ah, so this is some proper story stuff coming on now. Uh, I watched the sun give way to the moon from the solitude of a high tower. The sky painted the colours of a fading fire. A knock on the door intrudes on my contemplation, but in these trying times I do not have the luxury of turning aside messengers. To my surprise, Sir Arthur steps inside and kneels. His orders were to remain at the Tower of Joy. So Sir Arthur here did actually, he was on my father's Kingsguard. So it's nice to see him. I couldn't find him in the character finder though. My prince, he says, I bring news. Speak it, I say. Lyanna Stark has given birth. Aha, we all know about this child, of course. Uh, I do not allow myself to speak, but wait for Sir Arthur to finish. The mother lives, but the child, he was still born. Oh no. I lose myself in the silence for a moment or an age. I cannot tell to go through all of this suffering, this war, this pain, only for the child to die without ever feeling the warmth of a parent's touch. He might have been the prince that uh, that war promised, that was promised, uh, but before that, he was our child. I need to be with Liana. Oh, this is tough. Of course, I, I love Liana dearly, but at the same time, we are fighting the war against Robert and. Uh, and Ned, I think I called him. Oh, this is, this is problematic. What do I do? I don't, am I leading any of these armies? I don't think I'm commanding any of these armies. So if I was to go to the Tower of Joy, I, I, I don't think it would actually change too much. So I will leave for the Tower of Joy at once uh, to be with my lover, of course, and comforter. Let's go ahead and see where this story goes. I do like the little flavor texts like this that have happened so far. Royal Court Grandeur has decreased. That's fine. Once we're done with this war, we're going to move ourselves to the Iron Throne. Of course, once I took the throne from my father, we had to march to war against Robert and, and his rebellion. So we never got time to move in. While his numerous attempts to curry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Lord Giles' sudden interest in me. If anything, his obsessive desire to impress me and his blundering display of fabricated affection have only made me dislike him more. Why can he not leave me in peace? Yeah, I, I never want to see his face again. That's a bit extreme. I mean, the guy is my vassal. <laughs> so, uh, why can he not leave me in peace? Let's just uh, go with the, the kind of one there. But I would like to be in peace, of course. Uh, I've just lost a child. I don't want to be bothered by my vassals. Liana's tears pour me up the steps of the Tower of Joy. The chamber at the top is cold, but it still smells of the roses Liana loves so much. Decayed petals litter the floor. Liana meets my gaze and for the first time, I do not see the wild spark in her eyes that so enchanted me in the Riverlands. There is nothing but pain for me in her eyes, in her touch, and yet I have a duty even in this. I go to her, cradle her in my arms. There are no words for sorrow we share. And so I do not speak. There are no more tears. Liana has no more to give. We suffer in cold silence. Wow, that's that's heartbreaking. And of course, there is uh, Liana, my my true love. Uh, I shall comfort her. Of course, hopefully we can get through this together uh, and see what occurs. Greetings, my liege. I've arrived in Dragon. I'm not in Dragonstone. Let's go ahead and show in Lord Giles. Lord Giles. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he got the message. I think that's a different Lord Giles. No, it is the same one. No, it's different. Okay, we, are, we have a lot of vassals called Lord Giles. Uh, serve me well, Lord Giles. No gifts of gold, but that's fine. If you want to get on my good side, gifts of gold would be good. I, we haven't had any more knights show up either as well. What's this notification? Something uh, bad is happening here. Inactive level. This court is one level below its expected. Ooh, we're going to have to increase, let's see, 
More food? People like food, right? Can we afford this? What, what, I mean, we could fashion as well is important. Spacious lodgings. Let's go ahead and just uh, invest slightly more gold. And hopefully that puts the core grandeur back up. And there we go. It's almost instantly back to level 10 there. We're, we're losing a lot of sieges. I'm not sure if we can win this rebellion. It kind of depends on this siege here, I feel like. Oh, look at that. We've even got some uh, some of our siege equipment in there. Uh, looking very nice. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. I've arrived in Dragonstone to pay homage to you. Glorious king as a show of my loyalty. Lord Simmons. Let's go ahead and show him in. Did you bring me gold? He didn't. <laughs> and there we go. Court Grandeur is back to level 10. So everything's looking fine over there. What's the war doing up in the north? I mean, it's not the, the true north. Oh, uh, Lord John Lund uh, has come to pay respects as well. This is good because it increases opinion. It looks like Dragonstone is actually relatively safe here. It is very expensive to embark in Crusader Kings 3 or Game of Thrones. So that looks like it's uh, keeping us safe. Jarmin has arrived. 25 prowess. He is sadistic and gluttonous. But look at that. A skilled fighter, aspiring blade master. I think we're, we're going to recruit him to the court here. 45 gold. And let's go ahead and invite him to the King's Guard. And then what I'm going to do is we need to go ahead and pick a Lord Commander. Just so we well, we feel a bit safer in this war. To the implacable Rhaegar, I would be honoured to serve within your King's Guard. You shall come to the capital to take your vows. Very good. Rise, Sir Jarmin. Now, if we go ahead and look at our King's Guard. I think I was looking at Sir Baron. Hmm. Now, Sir Baron, he's temperate, compassionate and humble. So even though his prowess is a little bit worse. I, I do like him uh, as being a Lord Commander. So what I'm going to do is actually appoint him as Lord Commander. Oh, and now we have room for another King's Guard. <laughs> okay, let's wait for uh, another person to show up and then they can take up that slot uh, for him there as well. Not too long left on the siege now, just three months. And Lord Jarion now wanting to pay his respects to us as well. No gold, but that's fine. Uh, the good news, no factions to deal with. This is actually going quite smooth considering we're in a rebellion. Lord Perkin as well wanting to pay his respects. Ah, what's happened here then? He has brought me some gold. Let's close that. It's a little bit loud. I'll wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Lord Perkin, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. Now, this is a man I like. The oath is taken and scribes record his pledges to serve the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne. As Lord Perkin stands, he stumbles awkwardly. The court gasps in unison as he falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flushed with embarrassment. <laughs> oh, an awkward day for Lord Perkin here, eh? Your oaths are all that matters to me. Yeah, I mean, you brought some gold, so uh, we'll, we'll forgive you. That's more than what my other vassals brought. Let them laugh. Uh, they, uh, I mean, they were they were cheap. They didn't offer gold to help in this troubling time of war, did they? I feel like this war is going to be quite difficult. Let's see, another three weeks and then we've besieged Storm's End. This, is, this should be huge in the war, at least. Learning perk available. Let's go ahead and assign that one as well. It would be nice to get whole of body. Hmm, let's see. Uh, I think we'll actually do that. So let's go ahead and get this. A court physician costs less to hire. And treatments have better outcomes. What I really want to do is get down here though. Uh, that's the, the big one. Make sure we, we are alive long enough to, well, hopefully see the Seven Kingdoms united. We've got 51 gold from Storm's End. That's only helped the war a very tiny amount. How heavily outnumbered are we? Not that much, to be honest. So we've conquered Storm's End. See, see, the map is fine. When I'm zoomed out here, uh, no performance issues. Uh, the issue comes here. So we've got... So that's all the, the Northmen up here. I mean, where where's Robert and his men? It's hard to know. How, does Robert have any men? He has 4,000 men. Okay, so Robert's lost all of his men. That's very good. So really, now we're just fighting against uh, uh, Lord Eddard Stark here. If we can deal with him, he only has 22,000 men. However, 
There's... Oh, Robert is up here. You can actually see his men there. Okay, so they are all grouped together. If we went directly here, I think we would lose a direct battle with them, correct? Most likely. How much How much of my armies have siege equipment? These guys have siege equipment. Just you guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and siege some more. Why not? What happens if I, if I spread people out a little bit? Um, is there anything else we can siege? Like maybe over here. We're, we're going to take casualties. Okay, let's just... For now, let's just put everyone here and we'll see if we can besiege this. Why not? Let's go ahead and unpause the game then. How long would this take? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, a while I have come to expect mischief from my son and heir, Aegon. Or Aegon. Uh, his creativity keeps me on my toes when it is not a prank. It is a brawl, a disgruntled tutor, or grazed knees from an adventure gone wrong. Aha! My son is rowdy. Marshal and intrigue. Marshal would serve you very well. Never a dull moment. Right. Let's go ahead and sort out your education, then, son. Look at that. Handsome and quick. Very nice. I will go ahead and give you a martial education. What's my martial like? My martial is only nine. I would like to educate my own son, though. Is there anyone better for the job? My King's Guard, I could have a member of my King's Guard train him. Even we could even have a Lord Commander Baron of the King's Guard train him. What do we say to that? I think we're gonna go for that. Why not? Yeah, uh, he should be able to show him uh, valuable things there, although he's gonna be busy. I think it's fine. Let's go ahead and send off that proposal. Hopefully he raises the, the son and heir to do great things. How long on this siege? Three months. Okay, that's not long at all. Hopefully we can besiege faster uh, than what the enemy are besieging. I'm not sure if we can. Occupied settlements. We do hold... Now uh, that's battles won. They don't hold the war target, so that's good. I think the longer this uh, war goes on, the more it goes in our favour because we are the defenders. So as long as we just keep sieging, we should be okay. Uh, Viserys gained 20 opinion of me, thanks to my wife there. I wonder if it's possible to one day make Lyanna my wife. Well, we'll have to see if there's any special events for that, I guess. We are losing supplies quite badly here. We're going to have to split up the armies uh, once we besiege this in 30 days. There we go. Another siege has been claimed for us. And there we go. We've won the siege. We've taken some prisoners. A new knight has arrived as well. Ah, Sir Barristan. I was looking for you. <laughs> I, I wasn't able to find him. We still have a, a position on our King's Guard if you would like it back. Can I not invite you? Oh, did I fill up my King's Guard? I already filled it up. No, I didn't. Okay. Can I can I invite you? Of course. He he served on the King's Guard for my father. But it said he ha he has arrived visiting your courting Dragonstone. Let's just go ahead and unpause for a little bit. Uh, can I invite you now? I can't. Why is that? You already have the King's Guard trait. Ah, what I think is happening here then is because these guys were already assigned to the King's Guard, maybe this trait hasn't disappeared, so it's not letting me invite them back. I think that might be what's happening there. Uh, that's okay. Uh, the mod is in early day development still, so uh, uh, expect things like this. Um, after I've recorded this, I think I'll just pop on the Discord and see if that is the case, and then I can tell you guys in the next video. Let's go ahead and besiege some of this stuff. We're going to split the men out as well. Just so we don't lose our entire armies to attrition and supply issues. There we go. That's looking very nice. Let's slow, let's slow the game down a bit as well. Commander of the Gold Cloak's position has been vacated. I tell you what, Sir Barristan. I might have a position for you. Would you be interested of being... Um, is it? Would it be under special... I don't think so. I think it would be under Royal. No? Oh dear. Where, where, where's the commander of the gold clothes? It's not the captain of the household guard, is it? Uh, I don't believe it is. Oh, we can also have wardens. We have to pay them, though. Commander of the uh, the gold cloaks. There we go. Uh, so Barristan wouldn't want that. Okay. 
Is that because of filters? No, we don't have any filters. Well, I don't want my father to be commander of the gold cloaks. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would be very wise. Our only other option is Richard Lonmouth here. He is my, my friend. He is a drunkard, but, you know, who isn't in King's Landing? There we go. Let's go ahead and make my, my friend commander of the gold cloaks there. That should just help with hostile scheme resistance and natural control growth as well. So we've got plenty of sieges going on now. Greetings, my handsome leech. Well, thank you, uh, Lord Howard. Let's go ahead and show him at once. Lord Adrian's also turned up at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Any gifts of gold here? Doesn't seem so. Uh, you guys, you're, you're tier two on my ranking list. We're, we're taking casualties here, are we not? I think so, yeah. We're, we're getting some bad supply issues. It might be wise, and these guys are only growing stronger. It might be wise to abandon this endeavor i don't know we are besieging though whilst we are besieging there we go a little bit difficult to click on we will be gaining war score so that's even more important greetings my handsome liege my entourage and i have just arrived in dragonstone after wearying travel there are important matters regarding the welfare of needlewater that i must discuss with you i request an audience at your court at the earliest co uh, convenience Let's go ahead and fetch Lord Adrian at once. Lord Adrian is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. My lands pale in comparison to your mighty capital. Please spare some of Dragonstone's fortunes for the humble lordship of Needlewater and the benefit of the realm at large. We don't actually have a lot of gold to spare and we are at war. Oh dear. Some lands are more blessed than others. Accept my counter. Of course, but a minor compensation will be necessary. Yes. Uh, he's accepted my offer. So the development has uh, changed by minus two in Dragon Water. Oh, okay. But he has given me 50 gold. Ah, that's what that's about. Okay, so we've changed. We've exchanged some development for some gold. Not sure how I feel about that, but we will be moving to King's Landing eventually. Anyway, well, that's the plan. Hopefully, our plan does go ahead as planned. Uh, if not, then we could be in a little bit of trouble. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. Lord Glad, you could have put on some better clothes. Uh, it's fine. I accept your generous gift, and you did bring gold. I guess I can forgive you uh, just a little bit for that. How long left on this siege? Two weeks. So two weeks and then another castle is ours. We'll have to keep an eye on the war score to see how things change there. 2%. Not a, not a great amount, is it? Hmm. I never expected I would grow as close to Lord Jeremy as I have done in the past few days. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interests at heart. Because I'm solitary, though, I never want to see his face again. <laughs> Oh dear. No, uh, be gone. I told you to leave me alone. I'm dealing with war and some other matters and you haven't listened to me. So uh, I don't want to see you again. Let's go ahead and besiege this. There we go. Sieging uh, is what I want to see. Golden prisoners. We can ransom prisoners. Let's not do that right now. Because uh, are they contributing to this? I mean, they're not contributing to the war, so we may as well, actually. I mean, look at that. Uh, a free 30 gold there. What about you? Another 15 gold. Uh, we're going to have to wait to ransom the remaining prisoner. Uh, we need the gold to fund the army, so why not? I think that's a good way to spend it. There we go. We can ransom you for another 30 gold as well. What's my men-at-arms situation looking like? We, we have armoured footmen. Do we not have the... Uh, Oh, did we never start with dragon keepers? It might be a good idea to invest in some dragon keepers. Do I invest in them for this war? Possibly. Oh, we've won a bunch of sieges there. Uh, the war score <laughs> only gone up by 2%. Wowzers. This is going to be a, a very long war. We're going to be in for a long night here. I don't think we can siege like these little things, can we? Um... Some mods you can, some you can't. Let's go ahead and carry on northwards. We'll take this castle. 
I think all of our armies are doing something. Yeah, it's just the allies there uh, that managed to besiege them. Three years, wowzers. And another 30 gold for the prisoner ransom as well. Looking very nice. I might have to go back and resupply our army soon though. I mean, I do have a capacity for 53,000 men. These guys have a capacity for 92,000 though. It might be worth going north after this round of sieging. Replenish the armies and then maybe march north for some field battles. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. I've arrived in Dragonstone to pay homage to you. Glorious king as a show of my loyalty. Lord Clarence. Let's go ahead and uh, show him in at once. And he has given me some gold as well. Very nice. Your oaths are all that matters to me. There we go. I think he made a fool of himself as well. <laughs> uh, this siege is almost done. Two days left on this one. At uh, first, though, Lord Paramount Mace. Look at that. I wasn't expecting him to show his face. Let's go ahead and show him in at once. I would very much like to keep him on my side. He is a powerful vassal who isn't on my council. You would be a very good diplomat. However, someone's already bribed their way into that position. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Lord Paramount Mace, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Seven Kingdoms. As Lord Paramount Mace stands, he stumbles awkwardly, the court gasps in unison as he falls, ending sprawled at my feet. <laughs> uh, your oaths are all that matters to me. There we go. Uh, he did make a, a, a fall out of himself there, though, didn't he? Did we just besiege this? It's not changed colours. Oh, that's also a castle. Of course, they have the, the unique models. I'm still not used to seeing these uh, castles on the map as well. Okay, you guys have besieged this. Now, I know I wanted to travel north, but I kind of also want to... How long is that going to take? 19 months. I think you guys should help with this. It's going to take them three years otherwise. Does that does that change anything? Oh, dear. A lot of screens popping up. Lord Russell, let's go ahead and show him in it. Uh, there we go. Serve me well. No gold there. Okay, 22 months. I mean, it's slightly below. We shaved off one year. Not the best, though, is it? I think we're, we're going to siege this and then we're going to march north. That's the plan. And I'm going to stick to it. This is going to be a, a very hard battle. We are winning 37%. It just dropped a little bit, though. 16 months over here. That's fine. You guys can maybe go and help with that. There we go. 18 gold and another siege one. That's actually our siege equipment. Why don't you guys go and help down here? That should all be beneficial for us there. That should speed up. There we go. Three months. Look at that. Siege equipment doing wonderful things. And we're taking another prisoner as well. You guys go and help with this one. We can ransom you for 15 gold. I think I will do that. What we could also do... Wait, is this friendly territory? This is friendly territory. We could just set our armies in here to replenish a little bit. And just keep the siege equipment going. Because at least these guys are able to siege quite fast. And look at that. The war scores finally got into the 40%. <laughs> uh, very nice. Four months left on this. That's looking better. The hustle and bustle is palpable among the travelling merchant stores. The temporary shacks are stacked to the rafters and contain all manner of knickknacks. These pieces are positively radiant and would make a lovely gift. As Prince Elia and I walk by one of the merchants peddling jewellery, she hesitates slightly as she leans in for a closer look. Perhaps one of these would brighten the day for my darling wife. Now, oh, 300 gold, though. The gift of my company has brightened up the air. Well, if I wasn't at war, I would consider. Of course, we do love Liana, but uh, I do need to keep the appearances up uh, just whilst I work out how to approach that situation and really we need a bit of stability when um, times of war so one day i will be with my beloved liana but not today <laughs> today we're today we're sieging down in the storm's end right two days left on this siege there we go we've won that one so the army of the red keep you can go on besieging and then this army here i'm just going to move you up there Hopefully that sorts your supply issues and you can get some replenishment going and whatnot. Uh, I'll be very happy for that. There we go. Our allies are going to continue some sieges as well. Are you gaining supplies now? I'm not sure if you're gaining or not. It doesn't look like it, does it? 
Greetings, my thoughtful liege, Lord Donnell. Uh, I will welcome you in at once. No gold, but that's okay. I'll take the prestige and renown. Thank you very much. Uh, did I see that blue bar rise? I might have. Let's keep an eye on it. I'm going to put my cursor there. Uh, I'm going to watch it. Oh, yeah. The supplies are increasing. Okay, that's good. Master Whisperers discover secret. Lord Jarmin's lover... Jarmin, you're supposed to be a member of the King's Guard. What's happening here? Lord Jarmin, what have you done? I need to get rid of his lover. So let's go ahead and uh, blackmail her for a hook there. We get a strong hook on her. And then maybe... Can I... You're visiting my court. Maybe what I can do now... I can't dismiss you. Oh, because you're already considering the blackmail. Of course, there we go. Uh, so she's approved this and now... Uh, I'm going to dismiss you. It costs prestige. I can't use the hook. Oh, dear. What if I marry her off to someone else? Not my son, though. Oh, we, we, we don't have anyone to marry her off to. Oh, dear. Even for a distraction. We could imprison her. I, I, I kind of don't want to do that, though. I think I'm just going to dismiss her. There we go. I don't want my King's Guard to be distracted. Certainly not. Sir Barristan, I thought I was going to hire you for the gold cloaks. What have I done there? I can't recruit you to my court, can I? You're, ju you're just visiting as a guest. You have a useful duchy claim, but oh, it's a shame that I can't put you back on the King's Guard. That really is a shame. It, I, I would have loved to do that. Now, unfortunately, it's just not the way uh, it's going to swing. It's a little bit unfortunate. Point side is under siege. As long as I don't see... Okay. <laughs> uh, Ed? <laughs> uh, are, you, are you enjoying this by any chance? Let's go ahead and see what's happening. Uh, are you guys besieging? They keep on embarking and then... Oh, my WSD is broken. There we go. What's happening here? You guys are taking terrible attrition as well. 59,000. You still have more men than us. Okay, it looks like the, the Northmen have gone crazy. They're not used to the sun down here in the south. And I think it's got to them. We have won a siege, though. As long as you guys don't besiege Dragonstone, then uh, I'm happy for you to carry on with your craziness. There we go. If I stay zoomed in, the FPS isn't too bad, is it? Right, let's go ahead and separate some of these armies. What I'm going to do is just get you guys resupplying just in case. Like, you've run out of supplies completely. So if I get you back in friendly territory, we shouldn't lose too much progress. Uh, because the Northmen are going crazy as well. This is going to keep on ticking. <laughs> the mod still is in early days, guys. Don't forget. Um, so we can forgive small things like this. It's okay. We can ransom again. 15 gold. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead uh, and do that. This is going to take seven months to siege. I think we might win this rebellion. Could you imagine that? And, oh, uh, that would be amazing because then we can focus. I mean, first, we would move ourselves to the Iron Throne. And then second, we can focus on trying to unite the Seven Kingdoms under the Targaryens. I, I would very much like that. Yeah, these guys are, are going a little bit crazy up here. Should we, should we go have a keep an eye on that? I think it would be quite entertaining. Uh, Magon, an interrupt bard popular with the common folk, has arrived at my court. A local landowner encouraged him to seek me out so that he might perform for myself and my household. Prior to the performance, he came to me to ask what solo music would be most pleasing to my ears. Or what do, what would I want? Sing of the valor of House Targaryen, yes. Yes, uh, I, that would be very fitting. Magon's performance went over swimmingly, with not a single member of my household left unimpressed. Beyond the specific ballad I'd requested, Magon played many more gorgeous tunes, much to everyone's delight. Your talents are wasted on the road. I could recruit him as my court poet. Why not? I think he put in a splendid performance. Maybe our gold spending here is going to be the downform of us. We're not the mad king. We're going to be the broke king. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are... These guys. But they still have 50,000 men, so they're not losing a lot. They're just... Oh, what's this? Oh, ho. Uh, are we going to get the field battle that we've been waiting for? The men are arriving. I think it's time. Abandon the sieges. I mean, you can keep on sieging. Guys, 
Let's make use of the disembarkment penalty. It's time to fight the Northmen on the field. King's Landing may be the jewel of Westerosi crown, but even the most brilliant jewels can carry some flaws. While I don't make a habit of passing through the less reputable parts of the city, today such a journey was unavoidable and I find myself colliding with a small street urchin. My guards are quick to chase the child away and down an alley, but as I wipe the grime from my shirt, I notice my pockets feel a bit lighter. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, the broke king. Perhaps I left my coin purse on my dresser. <laughs> ah, you, you, you devil child. Where is he? My guards drag the small thief before me. He is but a boy, no doubt one of Flea Bottom's countless orphans judging by his rags and gaunt frame. On searching his pockets, the guards retrieve not only my coin purse, but the coin purses of several others. Throw this rat in a cell. Oh dear. I mean, it, it, we're lucky we don't cut off his fingers or a hand. I think that's the penalty for, for thieving, right? I mean, we could send the child to the Black War as well. Or to the War, sorry, to take the Black. Um, of course, we can do that. Is that a, is that a decision? Ooh. I wonder. What if I negotiate release? Here we go. we got a few. We can banish him. Would that be the same as sending him to take the black? Or is there a unique option for this? I don't think it makes him take the black. Maybe he's not old enough. Yeah, I think he might not be old enough. Or maybe he's not actually considered a criminal. Uh, he doesn't have a criminal trait, so maybe we can't do that. We'll have to find someone with a criminal trait and then see if there's an option to make them take the black. Now, there's a lot of fighting going on down here. Do they have the, the disembark penalty? How would, I, how would I see this? Somewhere in here. Yeah, but there we go. A recently disembarked minus 30 advantage. There is Robert. Nice to see him hopefully fall on the battlefield. This, if we get a good battle here, we might even capture one of them. And that could end the rebellion here and now. Let's see if we get that lucky. So we're gonna win the battle. <laughs> We've done it. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and enforce the demands. So the war of the usurper would be over. And we would imprison Robert, Eddard, uh, Hoster, John, and of course Lord Walter as well. Lord Paramount, Robert of the Stormlands. Rebellion for the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne has failed. King Rhaegar of the Iron Throne would decide the fate of the rebels. Let's go ahead and enforce the demands. To the worthless Rhaegar, may your humours rot in your living body. I know when I am defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. Let's go ahead and disband the men. Now, will we get a, a, a nice little pop-up to the side or will we have to do it ourselves? I wonder? Let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Oh, look at that. that that's a, a lot of casualties for the enemy there. We had uh, an amazing fight. In fact, only one of our knights was wounded. Uh, incredible. Hold a grand tawny. Not not right now, but I, I think we will hold a tawny just because uh, uh, this was a very troubling war. Look at that. We're very rich now. The war is over. The Iron Throne is safe. Let's go ahead and move ourselves to the Red Keep. There we go. Lordship of King's Landing would be the new realm capital. Some buildings in Lordship of Dragonstone may become inactive. That's fine. Now what we can do is click on this button. Look at that. <laughs> That's what we wanted to see. Is, is there a closer view here? That is the view. Let's go ahead and hide the UI. Beautiful stuff. That's that's screenshot worthy. I'm going to take a screenshot of this to keep my third for myself. They did uh, an amazing job on this. Let's go ahead and exit uh, the photo mode. Uh, it looks incredible, doesn't it? And there we go. We can see all my king's guard standing around as well. As well as a uh, little Prince Aegon there as well, my, my heir and son. Now, let's go ahead and unpause. We'll see if any events pop up. But what we might have to do is uh, do it ourselves. In fact, uh, I think we do have an event. Oh, this mod's amazing. At long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me and disrupt my righteous rule. Now that the traitors are within my grasp, the time has come to choose what fate shall befall them, whether to show them mercy or to punish them for their transgressions. Bring them before me. So first off is Lord Eddard Stark. 
Lord Paramount Eddard kneels before me, ready to receive my judgement for his treachery. There are many options before me as to what punishment he should receive, some mild, some severe, which to choose would depend on just how severe his treachery against the throne was. I mean, he rebelled against the throne. But what about Lyanna? His sister. Do I send him to the wall for his sister's sake, or do I execute him? I mean, we are in love with Lyanna, of course. I think what I'm thinking is we send Eddard to the wall and we execute the others. Uh, can we actually ban it? We can send the traitor to the wall. So what happens here? He leaves the prison. He gains opinion of me. Uh, gains level of devotion to Poles. Gains the trait Black Brother. So that means this character has taken the black and joined the Knight's Watch. I think that's the way we're going to go about this one. So let's send him to the wall. There we go. My will will be done. There we go. Who's this? Robert. Execution. <laughs> we could execute his family and house. I think we just execute him, right? I think that's fair. Let's go ahead and execute Robert himself. So he leaves the opinion. He loses opinion of me, but I mean, he's going to be dead. So uh, let's go ahead and execute Robert uh, um, of the Stormlands there. Uh, let's go ahead and kill him. There we go. Who is this? Lord Walter, you're going to be executed as well. Ah, Hoster would... No, he, he's, he's going to die. And then, of course, uh, Lord Hoster of the Riverlands as well. Uh, he's going to be executed. And then lastly, Lord Paramount John uh, will be executed as well. There we go. And I think that would be a good place to leave it. In fact, before we end the episode, I just want to get one more close-up. There we go, the throne view. Look at that. <laughs> uh, just like that, I think that's going to be a good place to leave today's episode. So just like the first one, if you want to make uh, see more of this, make sure you press the like button. That's the best way to let me know. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.